What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the film room. This is Coach DJV, ready to break down one of your favorite players' games. Remember, this is not a highlight or a lowlight video, but rather an in-depth breakdown on what the player likes to do on the court. This includes tendencies like their favorite moves, their go-to finishes, their favorite shots from their favorite spots, and everything in between. This is so you can kind of pick and choose what you like and what you don't, and add it to your bag. Today, we're going to be looking at DeJounte Murray, an exciting guard who plays for the Atlanta Hawks. Let's get started. So Murray loves to go left. It actually results in about 70% of all his drives to the basket. His first tendency going left is going to be this one-step runner that he likes to get to off his left foot using his right hand going left. Next, he really likes to get into this stride stop. This is probably his most common, uh, most common finishing attempt where he lunges forward, right, left, most of the time utilizing his left hand to try and extend that basketball out and away from either his defender or the big that's kind of rotating over. Again, you see it over and over again where he's lunging right, left, extending out with that left hand finish attempt. Sometimes, He'll even get into his right-hand finish after lunging in right-left, where he kind of hangs in the air a little bit, floats it up off two. Here you see it again, big right-left lunge, floats it up. Now the next tendency he has is to cross that basketball back to his left hand once he starts going right, or if he kind of plants and jabs going to the right. He just loves that right-to-left crossover. Again, we talked about earlier, Murray loves to go left. 70% of his drives result in him going to the left. So even when he starts off going to the right, he'll kind of plant, cross over, or float the basketball, let it hang, and then cross it back, exchange it back to his left. Now even on these crossovers, you start to see the next tendency he has, which is to get into this right-left speed stop pull-up jump shot when he gets going to his left utilizing his defender's momentum against him to kind of create natural space that he can either rise up into or kind of recline back if needed to create a little bit more space to get this jump shot off. Again, loves to get downhill aggressively to his left hand and then just stop on a dime right left into that pull up jump shot. Just a couple more examples here. Downhill, hard right left, pull up. Now another tendency he has when he goes to the left is initiating contact, whether he's trying to draw a foul like he did right there, or just getting enough of a bump to kind of create enough space to get that ball up. He'll do this off that right left, but also right there you see him come to that like transition fade, that little hop fade. There's a little nudge step back, but again he'll utilize his body to create contact at this space. Now when his defender is able to cut him off initially going to the left, you'll see he has a tendency to make a protected exchange move, whether it's behind the back or between the legs. But then once he gets it to his right hand, he then attempts to get it back to his left, most of the time resulting in a jump shot attempt. Here you'll see him get cut off a couple of times and just kind of forcing the issue to get back to his left hand for an attempted jump shot. Now we're gonna rewatch these clips from a different perspective and kind of look at, okay, what are his tendencies based on where he's attacking from? So whether it's the left side of the floor or the right side of the floor. You'll notice that he has a tendency to get all the way to the basket when he's attacking anywhere from like the top of the key to the left corner. So on the left side of the floor, he tends to get all the way downhill, whether it's getting into that one step runner he likes, that stride stop extension finish with his left hand, with that stride stop, hang, finish with the right, float with the right hand. Again, there's going to be exceptions to everything, but you'll notice that the majority of his attacks from the left side of the floor result in some type of layup attempt. As you continue watching, you'll notice that as he gets around the top of the key and working your way all the way to the right corner, attacking on the right side of the floor, he has a tendency to get into his jump shots more often. Again, we already said it, but I'll say it again, there's gonna be exceptions, but attacking from the right side of the floor tend to result in some type of jump shot, whether it's the right-left speed stop 
was that right left kind of bump recline that nudge recline whether it's a step back or a hop fade he just has a tendency to get to his pull-up jump shot more often when he attacks from the right side of the floor versus when he's on the left side has more of a tendency to get all the way downhill to the basket let you kind of have an idea of what DeJounte Murray's tendencies are do me a favor in the comments let me know what you would do if you were his coach or his trainer what would you add to his bag if you had to defend DeJounte Murray how would you guard him what would you do defensively knowing what his tendencies were as a player what his spots are what his actions are in those spots and just overall what you thought about this player breakdown don't forget to subscribe like and leave a comment on which player i should do next in the film room